I have fell in love with this new bundle from the new mini catalog. It's the ice cream swirl bundle. And it comes with these coordinating dies, which are really cute. They're called the ice cream swirl dies. And you can see that you've got a confetti piece. You've also got um, a little wrapper for your ice cream. You've got the ice cream die, which is really interesting because it folds and makes a card. You've also got an embossing piece for on the top. You've got the swirl, but you've also got a cutout for the colours of the swirl. And then you've got little bits that cut out the sort of little embellishmenty pieces like the cherry and the strawberry. And it's supposed to be a donut, but over in the UK we have the iced rings and I think that's great. Now we've currently got Simply Sparkling on the online exclusives and that has a load of fruit in it as well. So I'm going to be linking that along with other products that we've got. So we've also got blueberry bushels, which has the blueberries in, apple harvest with the apples, sweet citrus with all the citrusy bits and that has this cool embossing folder with the oranges and lemons in. So we have a lot of fruit going on currently in the catalogue and I'm loving all of it. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to be showing you a whole host of cards that you can make using the ice cream swirl bundle as the main. And we'll add a few of the other bits in and not. But I've got quite a few cards coming to you. This is going to be the front clip for every single one. So you will see me start doing the same process of popping all of these pieces onto blocks, grabbing a full A4 sheet of basic white and getting going. If you've watched this previously, do feel free to jump past this bit until we get to the project. It will be a different project each time you see this video and there's quite a few of them coming up. So what we're doing is we're using the Mento ink to pop on the page the cones. Now you can see I've done this by the edge and that is because the die overhangs and you're going to mess up the rest of your paper. So you know you had that bit that's at the top and I said it folds into a card. You want to get that going off the cardstock. When you get that set, you'll understand why, but that's what you want to do. So I've done five swirls and five cones, and now I'm adding all these little embellishment pieces like the cherries, my iced um, party rings, which I definitely think they're party rings and not donuts, but I don't think they get party rings in the US, so I do think they were probably designed as donuts, and the strawberries, and also the wafers. And I've stamped those around, got a whole host of them on the cardstock, and that's what I mean about that die, by the way, overhanging. So for this series, what I'm going to do is die cut all of these pieces out and then each time I come to make a card, we can colour it in at that time so we can get a whole host of different colours going. So here they all are, die cut out and ready to go. And over the next couple of weeks, you're going to see me make a whole host of cards using this stock of cut out pieces. So do make sure you subscribe to see all the videos that I'm going to be doing. And this week, the video is going to be this card here. So for today's card, I'm going to be using one of our brand new embossing folders. This is a softly sophisticated embossing folder and it's part of our celebration offering. So if you spend £90 with me from my store, slimandstylish.stampinup.net, you can get this embossing folder and the coordinating softly sophisticated stamp set completely free during celebration, which is up until the end of February. For this card, I've used the embossing folder on some Calypso Coral cardstock that is 10.5 centimetres by 14.8. And as I'm using Calypso Coral, I've decided to blend the ice cream in with that colour as well. So every other swirl, I put a line of dark Calypso Coral and now I'm blending in the light Calypso Coral so that it looks like there's just a little hint of a shadow underneath those swirls of ice cream. Doesn't that look lovely? Next up, I'm coming in with Dark Daffodil Delight and I'm putting a hint of that, just a hint, on the opposite swells. And I'm using it not just at the bottom, but also on the sides of those swells as well, so it fills them in. And then this is Pumpkin Pie Dark. So Pumpkin Pie is a proper bright orange and I'm just putting a slight line around where that shadow from the Calypso Coral was. And finally, Light Pumpkin Pie, I'm going over the entire card with this and we're just going to blend, 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 blend until it all settles into sort of being one joint colour with the shadows in the background. One of the things with the stamping blends is because they come in a light and dark, people think that they need to use the light and dark of the same colour. You can play, mix and match, add in lots of different colours. It's all good fun. 
Because I put so much colour on the top, I decided that the bottom should just be quite simple and in one colour. So this is the ivory blend and I've just done the cone in that and I'm going to stick the ice cream on top. Now I'm popping that up with some dimensionals so that it sits above the cone. You need to remember that because then when you're adding the cone onto the card, you need to know that the top is at a different layer to the bottom. Now I'm going to be popping some vellum on the cardstock here just so it stands out. The brightness of the ice cream was very muted against the brightness of the backing. So this will just bring it out and make it pop. So I've just stuck a strip of vellum straight up the middle and you can see how cool that embossing folder is, right? Add some adhesive onto the cone, some dimensionals on the top because as I said, they're a different layer and I'm going to be using some of this twine. So this twine wine is with the hot air balloon set that's in the annual catalog so not the annual catalog the mini catalog the one that's just come out the brand new one this is the twine that goes with that and it has it in a range of different colors and one of them is calypso coral so it goes absolutely perfect with this set so i've just put that on there in a few loops adding my ice cream on top and there we are how cute is that card so I'm now going to take it and stick it onto a card back. So I already have these cut and scored. It's half a sheet of A4 paper, cut in half and then scored in half to make the card base. Add the topper on the top and it's just got that frame around the side. And then I'm just going to add the flaky bit on the top. And I've done that in ivory as well. So it matches the comb. Finally, a sentiment from the set. So I really like all of the sentiments in here because they've got sort of puffy fonts. And I think that's fun. And I think it works really well with the ice cream swirl set. So I've got this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop around it. So it says, hope your day is. And that's fine. I'm going to stick that down flat on the ice cream. But with sweet, I'm going to cut around that. I'm going to bubble it around there like the wording is. So I'm going to go around the S, up and around the W. For the best bit to do this is to use your middle to bottom part of the snips. It just cuts a bit freer. And then I'm going to stick that onto the cardstock as well. So I'm just using these little side pieces of the dimensionals to pop that up. And there we go. How cute is that card? We've got these new dots in the mini catalogue and they come with a whole array of different colours. So I'm just adding the Calypso Coral one onto there so it matches the card. All done and finished. The Ice Cream Swirl Stamp Set and Coordinating Dies. And don't forget to keep checking back at my channel. I have quite a few projects coming up using the rest of the pieces I cut out and I'd love for you to watch them all. If you have enjoyed, please do subscribe like or share it's really appreciated and everything i've used is available from my channel www.slimandstylish.stampinup.net bye